Yeah, we better get to Pharaohs before they all die out. And then we'd have to go digging underground in some sand tomb. Get cursed. What in the world is that a reference to? Pharaohs, the Egyptian pharaohs. Oh my god! I didn't even you get that one. You were just watching movies about it. <laughs> I, okay. I got halfway through Temple of Doom. I watched... The, the, Raiders is what I'm talking about. Okay. Raiders happened in Egypt. Yeah. Did it? Oh, no, actually... Message coming in. Patching it through. I actually don't remember. Shepherd. Maybe it didn't. My name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. Okay. That's another side quest we gotta do. That was that was the fifth one actually. As far as I remember. Yeah. That load screen. Every time I'm just like, so the drive core is like on fire. The the back half of the ship is just this super hot, like Torch some guys. thing. This drive core is on fire. Sorry. All right. Time to get the hell out. Um, my favorite thing about this part, by the way, is what the ship says every time you leave to go onto the Citadel. What does the ship say? Hang on. We can actually take Liara with us now. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Hang on. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is yeah. ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. I love that. I don't know why, but I'm just like... No, the the way the syllables work together, like, that's what I like the most about that line. Exo Presley. It's like, what? Like, I, I get it. It's Executive Officer Presley. He would, have the, he would have the deck after you leave the ship, but it's just, I don't know. Oh, Something about shit. the name Presley, I guess. Liara's got to be the one we use first aid on. Because she gets uh, a sorry scientist. I completely forgot about that. Does that make... Oh, heals additional points of damage. Yeah, so she's our healer. Okay. That's the reason she I picked... She needs points of... Oh, you've got plenty of points to assign. Yeah. I'm gonna unlock all of her abilities if I can. And then... She can actually get overload, too. Which is weird. Um, alright, with those last 17 points, I'm gonna try to get Stasis and Singularity unlocked. Sweet, alright. Three more points, and I'm not gonna put them in electronics, I don't care about that. What else do we got? Lift, singularity, stasis. Um, let's start jamming points in first aid just to get it maxed out because first aid is going to be really awesome for her. Um, but at the same time, we could put them just put them straight into sorry scientist because it does it does the same thing, doesn't it? 50, 60. 20, 30. All right. So it does the same thing. So let's just max out a sorry scientist now right. that we've gotten all these unlocked. And that'll be great for her. Telly's got a couple more points to spend. A couple tuples. Tuple couples. It's also worth noting that um, Liara doesn't actually have any pistol abilities or weapon abilities at all. Really? She just uses biotics? Yeah, she just uses biotics, basically. Mm. Um... Tally, I'm gonna worry about her pistol stuff later. I don't really care about that right now. But I know that I'm not gonna need first aid for her anymore. So that's good. The term you're worth trying to think of for Tally is a grease monkey. That's not necessarily a gendered term. Um, there may still be a female term. Do you remember back in like the eighties or wartime when um they had the campaign posters? Rosie the, the Riveter. Yes. Okay. I think that's what I was thinking of. She's like Rosie the Riveter. Well, Rosie the Riveter was specifically to motivate women to enter the armed forces as support roles. Yeah, but that's that's kind of what I think of whenever I whenever I think of Tally. Okay. 
So makes sense. That's just what she does. All right, Rear Admiral Mikhailovich. Malkovich. 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 It is Malkovich. No, is it's it? Mikhailovich. Oh, okay. Mik Mikhailovich. All right. So this guy's you. you get I off am the Rear ship. Admiral Mikhailovich. You get off the ship after your first Rear mission. And this guy's just waiting for you here. Battle cruiser operational. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? What would you ask of me? The 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Huh. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Don't insult Ooh, my ship! It's a good thing Joker is not here. Our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your No, it hasn't. This that is an exaggeration. We've only had three missions. <laughs> our appropriations bills. For the same price, we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no. We had to make nice to the Turians. Throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. I don't think so. She is. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. You can actually stop him from <laughs> investigating your ship. It really pisses him Commander, off. Commander, I'm not happy. What the hell? <laughs> About what? What did you find out of order? The aliens, yes, probably. I see. Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? It's a Turian sign. Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had that to is my possibly a good core of yours. Way to 120 it. billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? 12,000 fighters, which eventually in the course anyway. of the series would have just been like s scrap metal. Actually, yeah, he should know exactly why. Yeah. Men of limited vision said the same thing about early aircraft, submarines, and tanks. You're welcome. There's two ways I could take that, Commander, but that is true. I suppose the early U-boats weren't much better. And no. we need to talk <laughs> about your crew, Commander. Krogan? A sub Here we go. Torians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien national speed It just makes me jump cut all over the place. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust. That's the first joke you made genuinely at my expense. The hearts and minds by the way. are worth winning. What? That hasn't been proven yet. I don't think you, you even realized say, it. <laughs> like justifications for the state of this vessel? Aw, oh, damn it. I don't have the points for that no! yet. Oh. <sighs> we need to build bridge. We really do. Infrastructure is a major problem. Hang on a second. Not I hope they solve that by Very the well. 2100s. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I had planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. All right, well, that wasn't as bad. Did I? Damn it, I leveled off. Uh, I'm going to be pissed <laughs> if that leveled me up enough to where I can use my freaking... All right, never mind. It did not. Okay, so there's no way. You actually... How can you pass if it doesn't let you? Because if you're higher level when you come back, then you can get all the way up there. But you need a huge check. Oh, I don't even to get that. Oh, okay. So it's it's not even showing the squares at all because you can't open them. Yeah, basically. I get it. Um. So what joke did I make at your expense? Well, I mean, it was a funny thing. I didn't really mind, but um, hang on a second. Advanced immunity, advanced burns. We need to get these two maxed out before I forget to get distracted with other shit. Sorry, scientist. Um. Yeah. Dampening. Ah, screw it. I'll max that out. You said, uh, you said it just makes us jump cut all over the place? 
Yeah, because the guy was the guy was programmed to only say the species that you had recruited at that point. So he had a separate animation for each species. Oh. So he was actually glitching. His his animations didn't smoothly go in one from the other. He had a different starting point for each individual animation. So his body slightly jerked to a slightly different stance every time he went to say Krogan, Turian, Asari. That's why I said jump cut. Okay, got what, it. What did you think I was making a joke about? Whenever we're on the ship, when I do my editing, I cut out the parts where we're walking from place to place. So I literally jump from totally not what alien I had in mind. To alien. Totally not what I had in mind. I had a feeling when when you were like, "Huh?" I was just like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> it's like that time in the restaurant where I thought you were telling me that I made shitty burgers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I and I went, that. I went with it because I honestly thought you were telling the truth. <laughs> oh, I honestly thought that's what you said. That was a sad day. That was a sad day. I'm, I'm upset that I actually believed you would say that. But the thing is, I've been criticized for my burgers before. Oh Jesus! Oh no! Commander Shepard, yes. Police have been seen in Aljalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Uh, depends. Hasn't Egypt locked that's you up questions. yet? People back home that was heard a bad a one. I, I sympathize with you, those, those Al Jazeera journalists. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, well, some topics are classified. So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? Are you now, or have you ever been a human the best specter? Of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? <laughs> the Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human Not warship politely. for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Yeah, I think I can tell them about this. Sure. Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Well, we didn't. The Crystal Alliance. I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. Nicely I'm in handled. command, and yes. last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Shut up! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll make wow. sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Your career is over. I think that's going to jumpstart her career in ways that you'd never believe, lady. That is just... Why not loud? What you just did would get Fox News to hire you. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> well, she was sitting there pooping on me like crazy, and then freaking brings up Saren. I... When that's supposed to be a top secret mission or something. I'm just like, you I fucking love... bitch. I love that you paragoned it all the way through, and then all of a sudden just, like, <laughs> decked her in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um... Let's see, uh, it's Presidium, let me think. Yeah, let's do Presidium first. We need to go to the embassies and talk to that lady about the thing. <laughs> I've been politely answering your questions in a measured and intelligent manner. And now I'm going to punch you in the gut! <laughs> Don't break up top secret shit. That's stupid. Sarah killed my mother! <laughs> Actually, I never knew my mother! How dare you bring up my mother! Oh, <laughs> jeez. Uh, Alright, let's, uh, let's find this lady.